Mm, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I can hear you. Down, please. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. All right. Give me one second. Hold on, please. Okay there. How are you? How was your day today? A very, very hot. <laughs> uh, you are in Aguilares, you told me, no, no, or Santa Ana? Uh, me in San Juan Opico, uh, Lourdes. I work in, in Lourdes, Colón. Okay, and you live there too, no? I live in, in San Juan Opico, Ciudad Versailles. Okay, so you live close. Um, excuse me. You live a little close. Uh, from your house to no. your work is a large distance. No, 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 no. no. My work is in uh, in office. Oh, okay, so it's, it's, okay. All right, okay. Uh, what about you, Bert? Uh, well, it was a really um, smooth day because today we, did, we didn't have any meeting. So it was a, we, we call it a, a flow day because no meeting, no nothing at all, and no call, no just working. You will stay focused in our task. It was a kickback day. Yeah. Cool. Let me open the. Um... Portal, the platform. Okay, hold on, let me see. Ronald, I see you're there too. How are you, Ronald? Hi, everything good. How was your day today? I cannot uh, turn on the camera because my, I mean, I got two phones and this no one it doesn't work the camera. And the other one ran out of battery. Oh, okay. Ronald, I'm sorry. You told me that you live in San Marcos, right? No, I live in Ilopango. In Ilopango, okay. Who Who is it that works in San Marcos? I forgot. Who oh, lives sure. in San Marcos? Yeah. I was in San Marcos today, man. There was a lot of traffic. Yeah. Jonathan, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? How was your day today, sir? I am exhausted. Exhausted. Oh, okay. Hey, but you know, another day, another dollar. Yeah. You know? So that's good. Man, today's Thursday. Finally, tomorrow's Friday. Do you work Saturday and Sundays? No. I do on Sunday. I'm sorry. What What do you do Sundays? I mean, I I do work on Sundays. In you my work? case, yes. Oh, I remember. Hold on. You told me that you're a key. What What is it that you do? I'm a digital key user. Key user, okay. I'm sorry, what is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I mean, it's correct, that digital key user, but what is that? Is IT? Key user. Oh, well, that's case. 
No, but what what is it? What is the meaning? What, what is your your uh, like your job? My daily activities are great scenarios for test scenarios 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 for scenarios no for scenarios scenarios no, listen listen scenarios scenarios como español scenarios but faster scenarios scenarios mm -hmm. for test uh, of system oh, okay are you quality assurance what yeah to be honest jonathan i still i don't understand what you do i mean i probably it's a quality assurance i think that they I mean, I am developer, then to pass to the next phase, that is a quality assurance. This is the test, the system. But I'm not sure is that that's right. Mm -hmm. Ronald, are you listening? You see, class, like a little the problem when there's no camera? Yes, we you were talking about the the job of the our partner you don't understand about what he is performing when working mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's it, yes i really i don't understand what his job is but okay <laughs> um seven kids title titulo what is title In Spanish, what is título? Como un grado obtenido. It could mean different thing like uh, título of which you put a name in the in your job. Yes. Título yeah. de profesión. Exactly, because like in the United States, well, in, in, not in the United States, in English, for example, where do you work? In the hospital, in the Hospital de Salvador. Oh, really? What is your title? So when, when I ask you the question, I am not asking you about your diploma. I am asking you what is your responsibility in your job? Because if I work in Hospital El Salvador, I'm not necessarily a doctor. I can be an accountant. I can be a um, security. I can be whatever. You know, and I said, so I work in, in Hospital El Salvador. Oh, yeah. What's your title? Oh, I am IT. Yes. Pongas palabras aquí okay. como, ah, ¿y ahí qué haces? <laughs> it's, it's, you just, in English, you say, what is your title? It's like saying in Spanish, ¿cuál es tu función? Yes, exactly. Exactly that. Or sometimes when you're angry with somebody in customer care, you know, like you go to a company, you go to a restaurant, and the people are very rude to you. You say, excuse me, what is your name? Why? What is your title? I need to speak with your manager. Mm. No. That's that's um that's that that's how you say, you know, can I speak with your manager, please? No oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that the Karen MM <laughs> and the meme. <laughs> oh yeah. You know? The Karen's. <laughs> uh-huh. Do you know that expression? Do you know who Karen is? Yeah, uh, middle middle aged female, uh, typical from the United States, that she complains about everything, and she believes she belongs to a higher social. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Like so here would be like the... here in El Salvador would be la la Brittany, la la Francesca, no no la Brittany la. Yes, the the. Que se la pica, you know. All right. Honestly, okay. Karen's doesn't bother me because at least they had they were born in US. I would say Mexican people, Mexicans, I guess they call it, they are they are 
so annoying in my case. No, you know, for me, one thing, one thing I like about El Salvador, because remember I told you that I work as an interpreter in a company. And one thing I like about El Salvador is that our Spanish is very, is very easy. But for me, I had a very, and I don't like people from, I mean, this, the way that they speak, people from Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico, man. I don't, because I don't, I don't understand it. I remember, me podría repetir en frases cortas lo que acabo de decir. You know, they say, yeah. And, and, and then they start speaking this very, very strange, like, sí. Yo, o sea, mira, mira, ¿cómo te repito? Yo iba pasando la calle y venía la guagua y, y un man me, me quiso, la, 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 like, what? And they expect, they expect you to understand that, how they speak. Yo era un poco sarcástico. Eh, ¿Me puede dar su correo, por favor? Sí, Puerto Liqueño, Puerto Liqueño. Eh, 1962 arroba yahoo.com ok, le voy a repetir puer, puerto liqueño p-u-e-l de Lalo no, 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 no l de Tomás o sea, puerto liqueño ah, entonces r de Ricardo sí <ríe> you know, crazy people All right. uh, let me see if you see my screen do you see my screen? do you see the lady? Yes. Yes, I see yes. the lady. All right, cool. Family tree. The family tree. All right. So it starts with the grandparents, correct? Okay, let's watch the video. I cannot hear. I don't I don't listen the video. He's mute. Ready to learn new words? Did you hear now the video? Yes. Yes. Grab a pen, paper, okay. and take notes. Ready to learn new words? Grab a pen, paper, and take notes. Go over the family tree. You will find some compound terms which use prefixes and some others use suffixes. Now that you know more family terms, talk in class about your family tree. Don't forget to share your information on our discussion box. Okay, so when you talk about your family, you're talking about your basic family, your immediate family. Who is your immediate family? And when you say immediate is um, the person or our parents who, who live in. Yes, yes. Like, for example, here, when, when you get a job, there is a law that like if somebody from your family dies, oh, okay. you I take three it. days, right? Mm -hmm. You know, in your work. But what happens if your, your, I don't know, your distant cousin died, and yes, he is your family. Pero sea así, man. <laughs> you know, when they say immediate family, it's your mother, father, brother, sister. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. That is the so immediate my, family. My immediate family is my mom, my wife, and my two kids. Mm -hmm. And brothers, sisters, if you have brothers and sisters. Ah, well, and my my brother. I just have a one brother. Older. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, pero ya el, el primo de mi abuelo, que también le digo abuelo, blah, blah, blah. That's not, it's your family, and maybe you are very close, 
but they're not considered your immediate family. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's watch. Don't forget to share your information on our now that you know more facts on compound terms, which use prefix. Okay, so we have basically we have grandparents. Oh, listen to this class. Something very, very, very important. Y se lo voy a decir en español y van a entender por qué. El español es un idioma extremadamente machista. Yes. ¿Por qué todo siempre se refiere al sexo masculino? Mis papás, mis tíos, mis abuelos. Yes. Y, pero analicen bien lo que están diciendo. Mis papás. Estoy hablando de dos papás. Pero nosotros entendemos a ah, papá y mamá. Y les digo mm -hmm. eso porque mucha gente lo dice en inglés. My fathers. Y hoy en día, como está la situación, pueden, la gente va a creer, bueno, quizás el papá de él está casado con otro hombre y tiene dos papás. Como eso es normal hoy en día, you know? You know, o sea, de verdad pueden pensar eso. My father's, ah, oh, ok. Entonces, lo bonito del inglés es que siempre es una palabra neutra. Como les digo, nosotros siempre decimos mis amigos. Siempre me estoy refiriendo solo al sexo masculino y puede que esté hablando solo de, de, o sea, mezclado, pues, mujeres y hombres. Por eso es que en inglés es bien específico. Boyfriends, girlfriends. Yes. Entonces, mm -hmm. my father's is not correct. It's my parents. The correct word is my parents. Okay. Okay. So, grandfather, grandmother, the two are grandparents. Okay. Yes. My grandparents were very, very cool. They're, they are dead, but they were cool. They were hippies. Yes. My my grandparents, they teach me how to drink coffee when I was five. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to talk today. Yeah, es por demás. Ya se los he pedido, rogado, suplicado. Let's go. Next step. Teacher, yes. Uh, question: What about deals? Okay, yes, I want to participate, but once again, if you listen, only I am talking. I try to ask questions, pero si vieran lo que yo vieron, solo veo esto. I don't, I, I just see people looking at me, but nobody participating. Yes. Now, class, remember, I know that, imagine, I know that an English class is difficult, and it's more difficult in in video if the class is personal oh mil veces mejor but the circumstances is in video but you know because it's more difficult you have to give a little more effort i'm not talking about everybody there are some people that yes you cooperate but everybody is only quiet yes en serio cuando termina la clase se ponen a pensar me siento bien. Quizás lo más que alguien habló fue dos oraciones. Really, for an advanced, advanced English class, and you only spoke one sentence, maybe two. That's not good. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> let's do. Let's. Okay. Um, tíos is uncle and aunt. Uncle is men, aunt is women. Okay, okay, but oh, there is no, there is no form, the there's no form to 
to call it like in general grandparents parents no no and that's a good question and i don't know why because there are parents grandparents okay what about brother and sister do you know what that is siblings siblings S siblings uh, okay that's another word yes siblings and this happens because they say do you have brother uh, i have two some people say oh i have four brothers Tengo cuatro hermanos. But sometimes you're including sisters. So if you say in English, I have four brothers, people will understand that you have four boys, four mates. But if you say I have four siblings, people will understand that boy and girl. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So do you have siblings, Gerardo? And no, I just had a brother. Just one brother? Oh, okay. So yes, yes you, you have a sibling. One, only one uh, sibling. I can use it. Yes, you have one sibling. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, in this case, you can say I have one brother too. Okay, what, okay. What about you, Jonathan? Do you have siblings? No, I have one brother. Okay, so yes, I have one sibling. I have one brother. So, Jonathan, your brother, he is your sibling and your brother. The two are correct. Can you hear me, John? Yes. So, it's okay to say I have one sibling and one brother. Yes. Uh, Bert, do you have siblings? Yeah, I have three siblings, two sister and one brother. Okay, cool. I have, I think, I think I have 13 or 14 siblings. What? What? Yes. But really? Yeah, my father was a little crazy. <laughs> yes. But, but you say your grandfather were a hippie, but not your father. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my, my grandparents, they were, yes. Uh -huh. But now my, yeah, it was my grandparents and my grandf my father. <laughs> No, my mom had six children and my father had seven or eight. But ironically, I am not close to any siblings. Oh, yeah, maybe with two, two or three. The rest, I don't know. So I prefer to have one good sibling than 11 siblings I don't know. Angela, do you have siblings? Yes, I have four. Four siblings. Four siblings. And... Okay. Can you tell me, are their names religious too? Um, the name that my sibling? Yes, do they have religious name like you, Angela de Jesus, Santa Maria? Do they have like, um, I don't know, Jacob, Aaron? Oh, no. Uh, I have two uh, brothers, uh, Marcos, Pablo, and two sisters, and Doris, and Elizabeth. Oh, okay, so they have normal names. Yes. Oh, okay, um, cool. The two of them have political names, Marcos, and she said, yeah. Pablo? Marcos. Oh, the disciples my, of Jesus. Oh, yes. It's my brother. Yes. Uh, Jacob and Marcos, they were apostles, right? Yeah. So right. in my case, my sister's name is Maria. My brother's name is Jose. So we are Jesus, Jose, and Maria. <laughs> really? <laughs> Wait, and you are the baby. Yeah, and the baby, and the love. Yeah, I mean, the baby okay. Jesus. That's I understand the concept, but ah, okay. So okay, that's yeah. that's interesting. So your sister and, and so kind of weird. Yeah, He's when you weird, think yeah. when you think it's like oh. I told my wife I want my baby his name to be Pontius Pilatus, and she said no too. 
<laughs> but I was thinking, hey, simple about Pontius Pilatus. Nope. <laughs> hey, I like that. So or, your name is Jesus. Your sister is Maria. Yeah. And your brother yeah. is Jose. Jose, yes. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. So Jose Hilarious, Maria and Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, actually, well, that's my the name of my father is Jose Maria. <laughs> I was going to ask you that. What is your father's name? Yeah, Jose Moses. Maria, and my oh. mother's name is Anna. Just like it's also biblical. And oh, okay. if I I'm not if I'm not, um, I think Anna it's a name of my Maria's Maria's mother. Yeah. Right. Maria, Maria had a mother? Yes. Yeah. Mm. I did not know that. Oh, interesting. All right. Uh, so, uh, a yeah. question, teacher. I mean, it's not it's not related to, but I wonder if you already read all the whole Bible or not. Yes, I have. I did it when I was very small and and that's why I don't, I don't remember Anna, but yes, now it makes sense. I I have I I have read the Bible. I have read. I have studied. Maybe every religion. Agron. Yeah, I've studied Mormons. I've studied, um, Jehovah Witness. I studied the the basic, the background. You know. Interesting. You know, you know what is interesting? A religion that is interesting. <laughs> Las, what, lean on the air. La Diez Reglas del Satanismo. Is, they're very interesting. Which one? Yeah, but you see, you see, wait, wait. Okay, some people say the devil is, oh, he's bad, he's an assassin, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. But there is a religion about Satanás, right? <laughs> Crazy people. But they have Ten Commandments, like Christians. Uh, yeah, I know. I if, know that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. If, yeah. if you read the Ten Commandments, they're very interesting. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, right? uh -huh, they're interesting. They, no, no crean que es. I am matting una cabra y la sangre. No, no, it's like respect people. It, um, don't respect people that don't respect you. O sea, they're, they're very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> because people think, bueno, por lo menos esa religión, pero hay otras que sí de culto, de, de Lucifer y, y, y cabra y todo. No, that's crazy. <laughs> so, um, there, there's many. I like to read about religions. They're very interesting. They're very interesting. Okay, let's do the listening. The okay. listening exercise. Let me see. Is any? Doing. I'm sorry. I got a question. Yeah. Is any like no sé cómo decir mandamiento from the devil? Is anyone related related to? Commandments mm -hmm. related of killing people or being no. mean or rude. No, 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 not at all. That's why I'm telling you. After class, Google this very, very interesting because, like, the the Ten Commandments about God basically is God here, God ante todo, God, 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 and the Ten Commandments about Satanism is totally different. It's like respect people. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. they're, they're, uh -huh, they're very interesting. But no, they don't say kill people, eat children, <laughs> drink blood. No. They don't. Uh, watch it after after class, look it in Google. It's interesting. Look it up in Google. Okay. Tell me if you oh man. Let me see. Let me refresh. But my uncle. I had an uncle, he was a, my uncle was a priest. His sister, his sister, she was an elder, an elder de los mormones. 
And it, it was very strange, you know, because they were siblings, but of totally different religions. Christmas was interesting. <laughs> Family reunion. Can you hear? A. Listen yes. to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. Yes. What were they celebrating at the reunion? Hey, Victor, you're back in town. So how did it go? Uh, it was great. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Was your grandma surprised? Completely. She knew we'd do something special for her 80th birthday, but she never expected that the whole family would turn up for a reunion. How many people were there? Lots. I'd say about 80 or so. Folks showed up from all over the place. We had people from Texas, Chicago, Florida, California, and even Mexico. I got to see people I hadn't seen for years, like Luann, my uncle's cousin. Actually, I don't think I've seen her since I was a little kid. Oh, and my brother Rudy was there with his wife and their new baby, grandma's first great-granddaughter. That sounds like fun. So was there anyone there you didn't recognize? Yeah, but that was okay because as soon as we got there, we each got a name tag showing how we were related to grandma. Like mine said, Victor, Anita's grandson, Hector's son. That's a cool idea. So you could immediately see how you were related to someone. Yeah, most people have changed a lot over the years. Plus, my mother-in-law came along because she hadn't seen any of these people since our wedding, so the name tags worked out really well. So were there other people like your mother-in-law? I mean, she's not really a relative. Oh, sure. There were quite a few people who weren't directly descended from grandma, like people's in-laws, neighbors, friends of the family. But their name tags said who they were and what the connection was. <laughs> Sounds like it must have been a lot of fun. I bet your grandma was happy. Yeah, really happy. Okay, be honest, did you understand that conversation? Not so much, teacher. Okay, I have maybe... to question what is name tags and Very good. mother in law. Okay. Thank you. Good. Okay, one thing. Law. It's not love. It's not like ah, I love you. No, it's law. Delay. Mother in law, Gerardo, is the mother of your wife. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so now that you're married, she's your mother-in-law. It's tu madre en ley. My suegra? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, and only immediate family of your wife. Father-in-law, mother-in-law, brother and sister-in-law. Okay, interesting. Grandfather-in-law does not exist. Is the grandfather of my wife. De hecho, okay, ni, en okay. español, ni en español solo existe suegra, suegro, cuñado, cuñada, right? Right. El abuelo de mi esposa no existe, sino que es el abuelo de mi esposa. Mm -hmm. So in English, you have your brother in law, sister in law, father in law, and mother in law. O, okay. you can say it in general. My in-laws. So what do you do in the holidays? Oh, in Christmas, we go to my family's house. But in New Year's, we go to my in-laws. Referring to mother and father of your wife. The family of your wife. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Before I ask, before I tell you about the name tag, what was the story about? He went to a grandmother's birthday, and he was surprised because whenever she turns, she whenever her birthday is coming. Uh, he gets to see all of his family, even the ones from other countries like Mexico and, and other states, I guess. What well, that was that was what he mentioned. Okay, good. 
Have you ever been to a family reunion that there's a lot, a lot of people? Yes, I have been. Yes, that when you go, you know it's your family, but you don't know who they are. Yes, it happens to me. Okay, so in this in this story, there was something interesting because he said that they use name tags. Name tags is when you put something on your shirt and says, my name is Gerardo, hijo de Ana, nieto de Paco. You know, so when, when you see and you see your family, so what is your name? Let me see. Oh, you're Gerardo. You're Ana's son? Ana, the daughter of Paco? Yeah. Oh, we are cousins. I am the cousin of Paco, you know? So that's a name tag. You never okay. see some people I... when they put in their shirt, hi, hello, my name is. Yes, yes. It's a tag. It's a name tag. So it's literally a name tag. I thought it was something bigger. No. No, so that's why he said there were so many people there that he, they didn't know, so they used a name tag. Okay. I thought it was like a nickname. No. <laughs> But you know that's a good idea. I mean, there's so many people that are going to be in that in that reunion. That um, it's good to know. So, what is your name, Jose? You, David? Uh, ¿Cómo estamos relacionados? Pues, hey, you know, do you, no, you know, so mejor ponerlo en el name tag. My name is David, son of Anna, and gra my grandfather is Antonio Baltrons. Oh, that's your grandfather, yeah. Okay. So let's listen to this. What about your family, Angela? Is your family big? Uh, yes, uh, it's big, um, but no, no, no los conozco a todos, como diría. <laughs> I don't uh, know them. I don't know. I uh, I don't know all of them. I don't know all. Of them. All of them. All all of them. Uh, only my um brothers and sister, and my mother, and all of them. Um okay. and excuse me, me my cousin my. Dollars, um, only that. Okay. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, let me see. I, which is the relate? Ah, los Opus Dei son, verdad? That they have many children? Me? I don't know about them. No, yes. The the Opus Dei are like the extreme Catholics. And they have many children. They have like 12, 15 children. I had a friend, my friend, she's um she has like 21 siblings. And I ask, what? 21 siblings? And she says, Yeah, my parents some Opus Dei, man. But very rich people. But I guess they must be married, right? Yes, they're married. Okay. I, I think I think they believe that you only have sex to procreate. Um, I believe I believe that's what they think. That's why 21 children, can you imagine that? But they have a lot of money. I mean those Amish. The Amish people they have a lot of money too. I mean a lot of okay. children. They should take care of their uh, woman because I don't consider that that's healthy for them. It could no, be it's harmful not. too. It's not, but hey, religions, you know, religions limit you. Yeah, it's true. It's like, um, did you see what happened to that soccer player from Iraq? Which one? Yes, I saw. I saw that 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 deal, but I don't know what finally happened with him. 
I think there was a woman in Iraq that she, I don't remember. I think she, she studied in the university. Yes, and they want to kill her. Like, you didn't want that in because she wants to study. So I think that woman escaped. So then this player from Iraq, he supports the woman, la polla. Que las mujeres estudian. Y la van a colgar por eso. <laughs> So that that's, can you imagine how extreme people are? And it happens in, uh, in the World Cup, I, I think, right? Yes, yes, it's mm -hmm. happening now. I, I don't think they have killed him now yet, but they will kill him. Yet. Yes. That's sad. It's very sad. Okay, so number one says, what were they celebrating? The second one, they were celebrating Victor's grandmother's 80th birthday. 88th. No, 80. 80th, okay. Thank 80th. you. How many people were there about? Eighty. Eighty. Yes. Which places does he mention? People came from. The last one. <clears throat> Chicago, Florida, Mexico, California. <clears throat> Who is the first relative he mentioned was at the reunion? I think it was his uncle's cousin. Who else besides relatives were at the reunion? The friends of family. The okay, family. good. <clears throat> the friends of the family and the last part. <laughs> the reading exercise. <laughs> So let me see here. Hold on. Okay, do you see the screen? Yes, I see. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. It says full house. Meet the Silcox. I'm going to read the first paragraph. If you do not understand a word when I finish, please ask me. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so here it says. Walk into California, wait, walk into the California home of Annie Bells and her husband, Jim Silcock, and you'll see kids everywhere playing video games, doing homework, and getting ready for dinner. There are 30 boys in this close-knit household, and Ann Bells is their mom. Bells has wanted to help children since she was a kid. I was intrigued by the movie Oliver in the 60s, a musical based on Charles Dickens' novel Oliver Twist. I told my mom that I want to do, 
I told my mom, that's what I want to do. I want to adopt orphans. Okay. I had a question, teacher. Sure. Thank you. And what's the meaning of when you say close knit? Close knit is when your family is very together. It's like. Okay. It's like, like, um, like, like I told you. This me, is like a compound word, not exactly. Yes, like I told you, I have many brothers and sisters, but I, I'm not close to them. I am not. But like, for example, my wife, she's very close knit with her family. What's the meaning of knit? Just knit. It, it's it's not. It, it has to go close knit. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yes, it's Thanks. a close knit family. It's like it's like like today I saw the mother of, of, of my neighbor that died. Oh my god, she remember I told you that she died my neighbor died Monday or Tuesday, I don't remember. Um I remember it's her, it's the mother, the girl and the boy. The girl died it was only three and they were very close-knit so imagine how destroyed the mother is do you understand Gerardo yes yes it's true. I understand okay. now thank you so how many how many children does she have in her house Angela <clears throat> Uh, one. No. How many children that live in her house? In my house? Listen to the question, Angela, please. I uh, It's according to the reading. How many children um, does she have in her house? Um, <clears throat> Okay. Uh, <laughs> and there are 30, 30 boys. There are 30 what? Boys in the... Um, in the home. In it, in it. Ah, in este texto. ¿Cómo? En este texto. O sea, o sea en, 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 lo que estamos, en lo que estaba leyendo. Perdón que no hable en español, pero... No, it's okay. Ajá. Uh, ok. Lo que entiendo, ¿cuántos niños? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ronald, who is, who is Oliver Twist? Pues... It's like... By the movie, like the one who wrote in... No, it's the name of the novel wrote by Charles Dickens, I guess. Exactly. Oliver's, Oliver Twist? Is the have, name you of the... have you ever read Oliver Twist? No. It's, it's the a... first time I it's... heard oh, it. Oh, really? It, it's a very good book. It's a very good book. It's from Charles Dickens. Oliver Twist, he was an orphan. And his best friend was Tom Sawyer. And Tom Sawyer was a very bad boy. But when you have the time, read Oliver Twist. But Oliver Twist was an orphan. So he lived in an orphanage. I guess Tom Sawyer is more popular than Oliver Twist. Uh, maybe, maybe in popular culture, yes, Tom Sawyer is more popular. But in literature... It's Oliver Twist. Okay. I will find it out. Yeah. But you have heard of, of um, Tom Sawyer, correct? Yes, because when I used to be, when I was a child, mm -hmm. I used to watch this show for children. His name is Magic Grandparents. And they they met Tom Sawyer. Oh, Tom and Sawyer. it was rude and, and mean. 
Yeah, he he was a very bad kid. And, and he, he used a- to live like mm-hmm. in Missouri. They yes. used to call him, where are you? Missouri kid, Missouri kid, something like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Miserable. Miserable. Uh, okay. No, yeah. he used to live in, in Missouri. 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 Oh, Missouri yes. kid. Missouri yes. kid, yes. That's so, what I remember. So Tom Sawyer was a friend of Oliver Twist. In the ah, movie. okay. Mm-hmm. And he was a bad influence on Oliver Twist. Gerardo, you told me you like rock music, correct? Yes, I I think it's a band called Tom Sawyer. Maybe, not... maybe, but there, the, actually, there's a band called Rush, and they Rush. have a oh, okay. and they have a song called Tom Sawyer, which is really good. ah okay. I, maybe right. I was thinking in in that. Hmm. So so in this reading, the woman when she saw the movie Oliver Twist, she got inspired, and she says. When I grow up, I'm going to adopt children like Oliver Stone. Oliver Twist, I'm sorry. I, I like the name Oliver. Yes, it's nice. Yeah, it's cool. Huh? Oliver. Yeah. Oliver. Okay, next. Anne's boys range in age from 3 to 25. All of them are challenged in some way. They each have special needs, physically, emotionally, or at school, says Bell. What do you understand by this? All of them are challenged. We call it here in Spanish, or at least in this country, as special, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yes, they are call- not like normal people. They sometimes they can get distracted easily. They have like this difficulty to to learn or to speak or to communicate to other people. Exactly. To get in that in that bone. Yes, or physically. Or physically. You know, maybe they don't have a hand, maybe they don't have an eye, maybe they can't speak, you know. Maybe they are autistic. Maybe they are they have Down syndrome. So, or maybe they are they are uh, depressed because that's also. So they may be voiceless. Yes. So imagine all of them. What is a range? Un rango. Yes. So this woman, the thirty children, the thirty boys she adopted. They are from a range from 3 to 25. And she only adopts kids who are challenged. What a beautiful human, correct? Yes, it's a nice story. She's a very beautiful human, yes. Okay, so they each have special needs physically, emotionally, or at school, says Bells. She doesn't focus on what her kids can't do, only on what they can do. They go to mainstream schools, take karate, go skating at the roller um, no, roller rink, and even act on television. In an interesting twist, 13 of her boys are going to be a local theater production or Oliver. So this is beautiful what Anne says. She said that she doesn't see their difficulties she sees their abilities next raising 30 boys is no small task what is a task Una tarea. yes but remember tarea is not only tarea is a task like you can have a task in your house, in your job. Yes. Like your boss, your boss can tell you tomorrow, okay, Gerardo, you have three tasks today. Number one, please contact contact you, the customers. Number two, please, you have to go and get something. And number three, okay, so that's, that's your task. 
So listen, it says raising 30 boys is no small task. Every day, a small army of child, of child care workers, nurses, and volunteers come in to help cook and clean, wash 30 loads of, of laundry a day, and take care of their health needs. So imagine all the help she gets. To find out how much such a large family cost, we followed Jim Silcock at the grocery store. He spent $880 for food for one week. Every month, they spend $2,000 to run five minivans. $15,000 for the 14 paid helpers and more than $10,000 on dental and medical expenses. There, There's also clothing, insurance, and mortgage payments. Can you imagine how much money they spend? The family receives $26,000 a month from the federal government and has some income from a family business. All the money is spent on the children. Having new clothes and fancy cars isn't important to Belle. How do the kids feel? Says 18-year-old Anthony. The family is wherever I the family is there whenever I need something. Under all this chaos, I feel like I am loved. This was my dream and everything about what I'm doing was there was everything I wanted to happen in my life, says Anne Bell. So absolutely no regrets. This is perfect. I couldn't ask for it to be better. Maybe a bigger house, you know, would be nice. Okay, so did you understand? Do you have questions? Teacher, I have just a little question. Yes. Because I I want to learn mm -hmm. more vocabulary. Um, in some paragraphs, it says they go to the mainstream schools. What's the meaning when you said mainstream schools? Do you understand the what mainstream school? is? Okay. Uh, and it's kind like of uh, like, uh, uh -huh, like, Mainstream, like something important? Mm -hmm. Like popular. Who else knows what mainstream is? I understand something mainstream. Mainstream in our culture is something relevant or important. Yeah, mainstream schools are special schools. Now, mainstream can be schools only for rich people. Well, you know what? Mainstream mainstream schools are colegios. Ah, okay, okay. Y están escuelas y colegios. <laughs> so is it the same as private schools? Yes, yes, it's the same. Okay. Pero son colegios conocidos. Okay. Okay. Porque también uno puede abrir un colegio en una esquina de, de, del pasaje y decir colegio y el nombre de la, de la... Pero hay colegios que son bien conocidos, por ejemplo, a, a los colegios García Flamenco. What is a mainstream school en San Miguel, Alberto? ¿A qué europea? Mm. Mm, yes, and the uh, CIPC. Uh, I don't remember all that because I was a teenager a long time ago. Yeah, it was I, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember. In San Salvador, but... there are mainstream schools like La Britannica, La Alemana, you know, stuff like that. All right, so this is a very interesting woman, right? Imagine yes, her. really. 
I imagine she has no no personal time for her. So imagine she is never alone. Is this yes. a, a real story? <laughs> yes, it is. It is a real story. Okay. But you know what? I imagine she gets help. I imagine maybe there's a foundation that helps her. Or they donate money to her. Or the government helps her with some kind. Of yes, the government kind of gives, donation. Uh -huh. The government gives her twenty six thousand dollars a month. But I think he needs more money because there's a lot of kids. <laughs> yes, imagine that's not even one thousand dollars per kid. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, class, then thank you very much. Then you have a very good weekend, okay? I'll see you Monday. See okay, you. Take thank care. you, sir. Enjoy, you, your, enjoy your weekend. See you. Bye, bye Thank you. Bye, teacher. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.